Catherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries, and every day I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus, and he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and this is my quiet time. One of the things I love about the Word of God is how the Lord gives us pictures that we never forget. He uses metaphors that help us understand what He is teaching us. And this week I focused on a metaphor that He gave in Hebrews chapter 6. I'm still on my hope journey and I just love, love, love this passage in Hebrews 6, starting at verse 17. So I just want to read these few verses and then I want to share some things that God's showing me. Hebrews 6, starting at verse 17. God, desiring even more to show to the heirs of the promise the unchangeableness of his purpose, interposed with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge would have strong encouragement to take hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul a hope both sure and steadfast, and one which enters within the veil. Here I see that hope is like an anchor for my soul. And when I anchor my soul in God and His promises found in His Word, my soul is steadfast. So, because of the greatness of God's promises, made by a God who does not lie, is not a turncoat, who binds it with an oath, linked all the way into the presence of God himself, I have a hope. Verse 18 says, take hold of the hope before you. That means in the Greek, hold close to your hearts the hope. What is hope? Well, it's holding on with patient expectation. Hope. H-O-P-E, holding on with patient expectation. And in this passage, I see that hope is like an anchor. Hope keeps the soul firm and steady in the same way an anchor keeps the ship firm and steady. When you put your hope in what God says, your hope is anchored at the very throne of God himself. And Jesus is there interceding for you as your priest forever through all eternity. Kenneth Wiest, in his great set of books called Wiest's Word Studies that I love using in my quiet time, he says, we have some rich figures here. This present life is the sea, the soul a ship, the hidden bottom of the sea, the hidden reality of the heavenly word. The soul is seen as storm-tossed on the troubled sea of life. The soul of the believer as a tempest-tossed ship is held by the anchor within the veil, fastened by faith to the blessed reality within the veil. You see, your anchor, your hope, is fastened to your rock, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is your Savior. You have the hope of eternal life, which is the greatest hope of all. Nothing can touch that. No matter what pain you face, no matter what the diagnosis here on earth. You will live forever with the Lord in heaven. It's your greatest hope. Your soul is fastened to the Lord who is in the presence of God the Father. Every time God gives you a promise in the word, there's one more tether of your soul to the firm foundation of the eternal, and it expands the ground of your hope. Something I thought about this week is that when your hope is anchored in the Word of God, it keeps you from drifting. It's an anchor for my soul. You see, there's so many things that can make me drift. Now, what does it mean to drift? 
It means that you move away from the foundation of God and his word. You may move into the realm of your own feelings, your thoughts, your wishes, your dreams, your desires, like for money, a better job, or whatever it might be. And if that happens, you're drifting, or I'm drifting. Our hope is to be firmly attached to the promises of God in His Word. When we hope, we're close to the Word, anchored, steadfast. Now, your life may be in turmoil, You may be experiencing all kinds of unbelievable trials, but your soul is steady, anchored to the Word of God. My friend Sherilyn tells the story of the time in their life when they owned a Hatteras yacht, and they used to anchor off the shore of Santa Monica. She said that it was tricky business to anchor there because of the huge bed of kelp on the ocean floor. Kelp is brown seaweed that forms like a shadowy forest above the rocks on the ocean floor. And here's the important thing to know. They have no roots. They just float, float in the ocean. And Sherilyn describes how important it was that you were absolutely certain that you were anchored on rock instead of kelp. Sometimes they would wake up in the morning and they would find their boat had drifted miles from where they had originally stopped and sometimes on out into the ocean. Why? Because their anchor was in the kelp. And this helps me see that I don't ever want to be anchored in the kelp of this world and then find myself drifting. No, I want to be anchored on the solid rock of God and his promises. Lord, thank you for the solid rock of your promises in your word that keep me from drifting and keep me firmly anchored. And that's my quiet time for this week. God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing him.